Hopefulness 2.0. Friday the 13th. <laughs> uh, I want to get a tattoo, but it's just not in cards right now. Maybe some other time. Cooking up some bacon. For pizza and rice and everything else. Shit. Big old piece right there. Wash, wash these, but shit, damn it! See, this is what I get. I'm trying to be pregnant. It's kind of interesting trying to do this right because I need to. There's a lot of bacon in there, and um, thing and then I can incorporate it into the next uh, rice cooking session. Why not? Why not have fun with leftovers like that? No need to try to figure out where you're gonna throw away your bacon fat or anything like that. Just use it on something else. And I mean I'm sure you know plenty of people have all these different things and ideas and whatnot and it's great. I'm not against them. Uh, it's just that for me to do that, it takes a lot of mental focus that I don't really have, and so I've got to be able to connect to something else. Um, if I was able to plan ahead for weeks at a time, sure, maybe, but you know, I've got chicken stock because I mean that's kind of a planning ahead thing. Um, but uh, it's just because it's as a response to trying to save some money or anything. And it's like, oh, hey, I have some chicken thighs, which I have to cook up today. Because I think today, or maybe even last week, I don't know when the last day was. But I got like five left. I'm going to throw them up on the pan, cook them out, cook them down, and then do some stuff with it. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, you know. It's like a leap from a little overlapping sort of chain reaction style process. You get certain things and they start to work together in some way or another. And then, you know, over time, you just kind of adapt as necessary. Um, I mean, I still have this onion that I'm not going to be using for. Uh, well, probably anything now? Nope, because it's moldy as fuck and starting to grow shit. Okay. <laughs> that onion is not going to be used. Um, never seen an onion do that before. But, um... Yeah, um, you know, I got flour because I've been baking and, you know, now I'm making pizzas and stuff with it. And I've got pizza dough that I'm going to use later today. I'm letting it just kind of warm up and proof. It may be super sticky, but it's whatever. I've got the, the Dutch oven is already prepped um, for all its purposes. I um, also got some Bali paper towels, and so far they're better. Uh, it doesn't leave like just 
tons of lint all over the place. I still kind of, you know, uh, wiped out any excess oil and stuff because, you know, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about, well, I'm, it, the pizza did a really great job of not sticking yesterday. Burn my mouth. I may have mentioned that. I'm not sure. Oh. We're going to have to take meds. I mean, I, woke, it, I got up at noon. Um, I got back here at like 5.45 maybe. It's funny how a two hour commute doesn't feel like two hours when, you know, you're not rushing. <clears throat> it's warm in here, so let me just see if you're, yep. Um, you know, everything's off. Airplane mode, blah, 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 so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I got a nice full bottle of uh, antidepressant meds, so. But, uh, yeah, so, that oven's doing its job now, <clears throat> now that I've got a decent season on it, and, you know, it's going to, you know, continue doing the thing. Uh, I'm not baking it because it just, it feels like that's just too much, um, and the instructions on here are pretty simple, and so once you wash it off, um, <clears throat> you know, dry it on the actual burner and instead of letting it air dry because then it'll start to rust. And then what I'll do is I'll take, you know, this bad boy. It's got some oil still in it. And that's just particulates from the cast iron. You know, just wipe it out. Um, if I need to add a little extra oil to it or whatever, I'll do that. But I try to use a thin coating of oil. And then, um, <coughs> what I've decided to start doing is letting it stay on the burner, heating up until I just start to see wisps of smoke, and then I turn it off, put it in the uh, put it in the oven. Um, that way, you know, it's not sitting there being hot in the room, and it's also not you know a potential hazard of touching it or something like that. And effectively, lets it do its curing thing in the oven. So far it's working out pretty well. So, um, <clears throat> simple, efficient. And uh, I like those two things when they go hand in hand if possible. You know, wipe down whatever oil, try to get to see a sheen of it while the heat's going. Now one might say, well you're cooking in this, in this pot, why don't I cook you know, your bacon in a Dutch oven and use that grease and all that, but it, it's heavy, man. I don't want to fucking deal with, you know, super hot shit like that. You know, I'm using it more to bake than I am to do most other things. I'm, like, I'm not going to be doing any kind of sauces or anything in it. Um, it's mostly just for, you know, for breads and pizzas or other things of similar nature for now. If I start, if I find another way or if I find some other, you know, method, whatever, blah, 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 you know, maybe later, but not now. Um, I think that if I wanted to do something like a braise or whatever, I would rather have like an enameled cast iron Dutch oven. Um, just because those things are pretty much bulletproof for the most part. And you can do so much in the Dutch oven too. Um, but at the same time, this one isn't really prepped. And again, I don't really want to be cooking a bunch of bacon in it um, right now. Because I, you know, I like the light, the lightweight, you know, anodized aluminum for this, uh, for this kind of thing. And once that cooks down, you know, I can get this bad boy. I'll find a lid for it. Or I can just take the actual lid that's being used, but um, <clears throat> and then um, yeah, put all the bacon that's in there. Let that 
you know, just kind of cover it, but not like pop it on there. And then just let it sit cool in the room, and then I can have you know bacon on hand to put pizzas or put on you know rice, whatever I feel like. It. So and I got my credentials yesterday. Signed in, did some stuff last night. wasn't terrible. Um, and then we even got uh, since we had time to do it. Uh, I made a like a checklist basically of what to do for the day. <clears throat> so I brought you know I, I saved a copy of that. I put it even in the so we're, the PAs. I put it in the folder online once I got access to it. Um, so there's like a, it's basically a Google Docs, I think it's through, um, Outlook and all that shit. It's basically like the, the Google version of all that stuff, or the Microsoft version of all of it. And since, you know, it's a business account and all that stuff. Um, and so, load it up and everything and then, um, you know, put it in this checklist order for some, you know, relatively simplistic methodology. And, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> they can start to fry up a bit, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, I think we were done, so he was saying that, like, usually get it, he can usually get it done in like 45 minutes pretty much everything he has done and I can see why because there's really not a whole lot once you have it all down and like yesterday um, you know obviously there was like I, I didn't have access at certain points I didn't have access to the uh, SharePoint for a while but he hit up our boss, and then I got access, so that worked out. And then um, I was able to do all the other stuff. But then, you know, like we had to put my info into the, because uh, we have a printer that's connected to the internet, and you know, it'll send stuff to you. So if you can, if you wanna, so we have to like scan some documents, and we have to shred some documents and stuff. And so it's like, you know, there's some simple stuff, and then there's some more involved stuff. Uh, various uh and, and part of it is like you're preparing not only the next uh the next shift but you're also kind of preparing the next day the next day has you know there's various paperwork that you need to go pick up and shred and then there's other paperwork that you've got to then reproduce um for that specific day and all that so But yeah, like I said, we were done at about like 1.15, 1.30. And, um, <clears throat> and then it's basically just chilling until 4 o'clock. Um, pretty sure my bacon is done now. So, okay. So that's a trick that I learned, um, that you can just kind of like ball up a piece of like parchment or something like that, if it's not being, you know, super friendly. Pretty much 
sit out so that I don't. Uh... Oh, that's right. I can just kind of do this. Boom. Done with that. Um, I'll wash some more dishes later once I feel like it. I rarely ever feel like it, but still, I'll do it whenever. I'm gonna make sure that this thing isn't. It's getting warm though, so. Anyway, yeah, so first overnight, not terrible. Um, we're both pretty yawny <laughs> by, uh, or were we Laurel? I'm not sure. No, that's stupid. Um, I, I think that's just what I'm going to title it now. <laughs> Laurel Yanny or Yanny Laurel, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's so dumb. Um, and uh, anyway, yeah, we were both getting all yawny and stuff. By like 3 o'clock, uh, I was watching Mr. Wright with uh, Anna Kendrick and Sam Rockwell. Finally got his damn name right. I kept wanting to say Ed Norton. Really fun movie. Uh, I had no idea what I was going to go into. Uh, I, I really had no clue what I was in for with regards to that movie. It started off kind of like a romantic comedy, and then there's some action elements into it, and it just they start to blend, and I'm like, this is a great fucking film. It really is. Um, there's some pieces of it that I would change, but overall, really solid film. A good, like, seven. Maybe seven and a half. Um, but other than that, no, yeah, it was, it was great. Um... Anna did her thing. She plays, you know, the... It, it kind of makes me want to watch A Simple Favor now. Um, because she starts off kind of normal and then, you know... But, the, the, like, more of her true self comes out. But you also kind of see it... See, like, they've set it up for you. You just don't really know. It's, it's fun. It's a fun film. Um, it's rated R. It's violence. Some, uh... A lot of profanity. Sadly, no, no real sexy times. No Anna Kendrick boobies. Oh well. <laughs> um, I am going to turn this off, and then I'm going to take off my clothes off. And then figure something out to do for the next couple hours. Maybe take a nap again, I don't know. We'll see. I didn't really sleep that long. Have fun.